Maxwell Macmillan presents Tuning In the USA. Today on Tuning In the USA, we are with Philip and Ellen Stewart in the backyard of their home. It's a beautiful Saturday morning, and there are the usual household chores to do cleaning the house, cutting the grass, changing the beds. But all the other stewards are away from home, and there is no one to help. So Philip and Ellen decide to do the chores themselves. They have especially happy memories of one job, and they decide to begin with that one. Philip, what are you doing in the garden? You're just standing there. I'm not just standing, Ellen. I'm enjoying the peace and quiet. If you hand me those clippers, I'll clip the dead flowers off the rose bush at the same time. Peace and quiet. You're right. Everyone's gone today, and we're alone. Here are the clippers. Thanks. We have the whole place to ourselves. Isn't it nice? It's great to have a big family, but it's also nice to have some time alone. Still, you know, we could use some help around here today. Yes. Look at that grass. It needs cutting. Who cut the lawn last time? I think it was Robbie. Ah, but Robbie's not here. So, that grass will probably just get longer today. It's been a long time since I mowed the lawn. That's one of the benefits of a big family. <laughs> I see your point. So, it's the day to do chores, and all the helpers are gone. But it's a beautiful day. There. Now that little rose bush looks better. Could you turn on the faucet, please? I think I'll give all the flowers some water. Mm-hmm. What did we do before we had children to help out? We did everything ourselves, of course. We were younger then. We're still young, Ellen. Come on, let's just get started. All right. But where should we start? Let's start with the car. Usually, by this time, Robbie has washed it. Or he takes it to the car washing place, and they do it for him. Ah, but then he has to pay for it. I've told him, if you spend all your money, you'll never be able to buy your first car. So, he usually washes it himself. Philip, do you remember our first car? We used to wash it every other day. <laughs> we did have such fun taking care of it. And we can still have fun. Come on, let's get started. Grab this hose. We're going to wash the car. Let's study the word if. I told Robbie, if you spend all your money, you'll never be able to buy your first car. So, he usually washes it himself. If you spend all your money, you'll never be able to buy your first car. Here's Robbie. He's thinking about washing the car. If I take the car to the car wash, I'll have more time. But. If he washes the car himself, he'll have more money. And if he saves a lot of money, he'll be able to buy a car. And if I buy a car, I'll be able to go <laughs> anywhere. I'm going to wash the car myself. Good for you, Robbie. See you later. And now, Act Two. This time on Tuning In the USA,
Philip and Ellen Stewart are at home, alone, on a Saturday morning. Washing the car is the first thing on their list of chores to do. They decide to have fun, and to do it the old way, when they had their first car. Working together this way brings back many happy memories. Will the garden hose reach the car, Philip? It should reach all the way around to the other side of the car. Okay, Philip. I think I'm ready to begin. It's just like the old days, Helen. Do we have everything? It's all right here. Soap, scrub brush, a piece of cloth, and an old towel. What about the vinegar? Why do we need vinegar? We used to use vinegar and newspaper to wash the windows. Ah, I remember. I'll go get some vinegar from the kitchen. How are you, Mrs. Stewart? Oh, good morning, Mrs. Goldberg. I'm fine. Lovely day. Couldn't be nicer. Oh, you're washing your car today. Yes, we are. You know, there's a new car washing business on Pike Street. You could go there. Oh, Dr. Stewart and I are going to have some fun and do it ourselves. Just like in the old days. Hi, Mrs. Goldberg. Good morning. Oh, Philip, I love this old music. Yes, just a little music to wash the car by. Oh, that's nice. We used to have a 1954 Chevrolet. We washed it a couple of times a week. <laughs> that was years ago. This was our favorite song then. Ah, the good old days. I must be going. You two have fun. We will. It's nice to see you, Mrs. Goldberg. And it's good to see both of you. Okay, Ellen. Didn't we always start at the top? That's right. You scrub with the brush while I held the hose. Then we'll do it that way. The car looks great. Is that all? That's it. I don't want to forget anything. Philip, are you saying that we should do everything the old way? Everything. Well, all right. Remember, after we washed the headlights and tires, I... Uh... Was there something else? Well, yes. I always... Got you wet with the hose! Ah! <laughs> Philip and Ellen used to enjoy washing their car when they were younger. Here are some sentences about the way they used to wash the car. Are they true or false? They used to wash their car once a week. True or false? It's false. They used to wash the car a couple of times a week. Here's another sentence. Is it true or false? Ellen used to get Philip wet with the hose. True or false? True. They used to have fun that way. When you were very young, what did you used to do? Me? I used to... I used to... You used to go to bed very early. But not anymore. Talk to you later. Hope you'll join us next time on Maxwell Macmillan's Tuning In the USA.